I'm about to print the craziest instruments in the world, like this insane staff that transforms into a flute, or this epic 3D printed electric guitar. I even printed the world's loudest death whistle. Okay, this is the first thing we 3D printed. This is a Super Mario fidget toy. actually played the Super Mario Bros theme. That's so cool. And later we're testing a violin you can print at home, a crazy staff that turns into a flute, and much more crazy 3D printed instruments. Next I printed off an ocarina like the one from The Legend of Zelda. This ocarina actually sounds really good, but it looks kind of boring. So we did this. You can actually use different kinds of filament to make your prints glow in the dark. Believe it or not, this ukulele was completely 3D printed. We finally got this tuned, now it's time to try it out. Wow, this thing sounds great. I've literally never played ukulele in my life. That's a ukulele. Okay, this is the hidden staff flute. The company that came up with this is called Teletunes. Okay, apparently you just take off this cap and take off this cap. And then I guess you just flick it and it turns into a staff. All right, let's try it. <laughs> that is just so fun. Okay, this is a hidden staff, but it's also a flute. I feel like I'm playing a flute. I'm a flautist. Subscribe to Landon Purifoy or taste the wrath of my staff flute. Whoa. So this is a drone flute. It plays two notes at once. Listen. <laughs> this is so cool. And then it just collapses and you can fit this in your pocket. They also make all of these different drone flutes. I'm calling this the banana flute. Banana. This kind of looks like a recorder. What the heck is this? How do you even play this one? It doesn't have any like holes. Oh my gosh, that's loud. Oh, look at this. This one even has a little keychain. Oh, oh, it's so tiny. If this actually sounds good, this is gonna be like the most portable instrument ever. This it's so small. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. It's the jazz scale. You like jazz? Okay, we're outside. This is the world's loudest 3D printed whistle. The dogs are probably gonna freak out. I have a decibel reader right here. We're gonna see how many decibels this gets up to. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, dude, it's so loud. Yeah, that was definitely 118 decibels. I 3D printed boom whackers. These things are awesome. Guys, I just figured something out. You can turn these into a pan flute. <laughs> I'm so lightheaded. Well, those were the boom whackers. Just like the boom whackers, I played the recorder in elementary school, so this one really brings me back. But in elementary school, I didn't have a dragon recorder. This thing is pretty lit. This would give you like a thousand plus aura if you pulled up to kindergarten with this. Like, come on. Yeah, I wish I had the 3D printed dragon recorder when I was in first grade. Recorder squad, let me know where you're at in the comments if you played recorder. This thing's awesome. Next up, I printed an Aztec death whistle. It was said that the Aztecs used to blow into these to frighten their enemies because it makes a really scary sound. Okay, well, I've never blown into this before, so let's go ahead and try it. All right, here I go. All right, that does sound literally terrifying. If I heard this, like going into war, I think I would pee my pants. But I decided to print a giant one. I'm pretty sure this is the largest death whistle in the world. Let's try to blow into this one. <gasps> the hole is way bigger than this one, so it's really hard. That's all the breath in my lungs. But I have an idea. Okay, this might be a stupid idea, but we have a leaf blower. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to leaf blow into this because my lungs just can't handle this. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like blow out of my hand, man. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was terrifying. Oh my God. That was so loud. If you're wondering what printers I'm using, I'm using the Prusa XL right here. And then over there is the Prusa Core 1. The Prusa Core 1 is their newest printer and it's really nice because it comes with the enclosure. It's just super pretty. You have a glass door right here. It comes with everything you need to start printing. And then this is the big daddy. This is the Prusa XL. This thing has five printer heads, which means you can have five different filaments ready to go and it will be able to take a head, print one color, go to the other head, print another color. It's crazy. So once you finish with the print, you actually just pull out the build plate, which is this piece. And then all you do is bend the build plate a little bit. You'll hear this crack a little and then it's ready to remove. These are just supports that help the build so that you can just take them off. Prusa was kind enough to send both of these units out and it came in clutch. I didn't know anything about 3D printing. Now I'm pretty familiar with it. If you're actually looking to get a 3D printer, check out the link in my description. You can see all of Prusa's awesome printers. I printed out a violin. The crazy thing about this violin is that the 3D printer printed off this whole entire body in one piece and then it was just the neck. I did have to buy strings to put on the violin, but everything worked great and it's all tuned. I just haven't played it yet. Okay, I have our bow right here. I just realized there's no chin rest. I forgot to add that, I think, but I think we can still play it. Let's try this. Here we go. Bro, tell me why it sounds better than my real violin. Oh, it works! Wow. I want someone that actually knows how to play violin to try this. That was supposed to be the McDonald's jingle. Here's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm a professional. I remember these little frogs in elementary school we would use in percussion. You would stroke their back with a little wood stick and it'd make like frog noises. I saw the model online and I had to print it off. But then I was like, I want a giant frog. So on the software, I just made the frog bigger and tried printing it off. And this is what I got. A giant frog, he's so heavy. Listen to this croak. And listen to this croak. Look how chunky he is, man. And now they're Aww. friends. I just printed off this bird, but it's also a whistle. Oh, you're supposed to put water in this and then it sounds like a bird, I guess. Okay, so just water. Oh, he's puking. Let's try this out. Oh. That sounds like birds, like tweeting outside, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we made it out to nature. And we are now gonna test this bird whistle and see if we can call in any birds. I don't think it's working. Oh! Okay, we found some drums. These are 3D printed like bongo kind of things. I think they're Jimbe? 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 Jimbe drums? I don't know what these are called but they're cool. Uh, they 3D printed in two pieces. We just had the top lid part and then like the red part. There's like a bunch of ways you can play this. You can just hit it in the middle or you can flick the sides. And then you can start going crazy. I'm not a djembe drum player, so don't criticize. How do you play two? How else can you play this? Hello, hello. Mm. And to go along with the drums, I got maracas. These were actually really fun to print. They printed with the beads. So they printed and then you just take it off and there's beads in there somehow magically. I cannot, I don't know what I'm doing out here. They even have little holes so you can like, I don't know what I'm doing. Kinda sounds cool, not gonna lie, I just threw the maraca in there. Anyways, it's pretty crazy the amount of percussion you can actually make with 3D printers. This is the tapaphone. <laughs> As you might have just saw, you just tap. You tap with this thing, it's 3D printed. It has a really thin layer on the top. It's kinda sick. <gasps> hey, it kinda works like a pan flute too. Look at that, it's pretty cool.
This final instrument is by far the most insane 3D printed instrument you've ever seen. This is the Prusa Caster. Prusa actually designed this whole guitar and they just give away the file for anyone to print off at home. So in theory, you could print this guitar and make it any color you want. You could even make this whole thing glow in the dark. The like exoskeleton octagon design is just so cool. I have the perfect guitar cable to match this crazy guitar. And of course we have our 3D printed guitar pick. Okay, we have the Prusa caster hooked up to the amp. Let's crank this up. <laughs> Ooh, this thing already sounds exciting. The guitar is so light, it, it feels different, but it's really cool. The center of gravity is also like right dead in the middle too. This thing is crazy. The guitar itself isn't even that hard to make. Once you have the right parts, Prusa actually made a great video explaining how this thing is put together. And I'm honestly blown away by this. This is definitely one of the most impressive instruments. Big shout out to Prusa for sponsoring this video and making all of these instruments happen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if YouTube's algorithm actually works, you're gonna love this video next.